and a few and actually giving away some packs as well so check make sure i think all of our contest winners have contacted us but stay tuned on this video i'll tell you how to enter at the end of it for now though we are going to open up four more packs from this awesome pet booster box we have here uh we actually just had our pack south tournaments i'll mention those at the end as well but stay tuned on that let's open these packs though so ladies out here let's go with this one first I mentioned we did the uh, PAX South tournaments over the weekend. This is our first time we actually got to do tournaments out in the wild. And it's the first time people have been able to win packs outside of our contests on the internet. So I got to watch people opening packs, which made me just want to come home and open some of these packs. I'm really excited now. Uh, so let's see. We got the Vampire Cat, one of my favorite one drops, a thief monster. It's a one cost, two power, one life. And its sketchy ability is. Uh, it, 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 sketchy activates if the opponent, if you've been caught cheating during the turn, not your opponent. Uh, each bleeding hero takes one damage, so that's really cool. The Belt Buckler, it's a uh, one level loot armor. Zap, prevent one damage to target hero, so that's pretty good. Got a neutral card here, these are all common so far. Flaming Armor, three levels. Zap, prevent the three damage dealt to your hero by target monster. That's really good, actually. I like that a lot. Holy Roller, we've seen this in a couple of previous ones. It's a cleric uh, weapon. If this uh, damage is a hired monster, collect one, so you take a token and put it on there, and it gets one power for each token on it, so it starts at 3-3 three, three for four, that's not bad at all. Legbreaker Joe is one of my favorite thief monsters, especially after the weekend, I saw this do a lot of uh, work against its opponents. It's two for a two power, two uh, life thief monster, and sketchy ability is that you can uh, squish it while it's in your stash to do three damage to a hero or monster, so that's really cool. Oh, the Curse of Quack! Munchkin fans, uh, love their ducks. It's the first time I've actually seen this one. It's a three cost mischief curse. A curse is a thing, something you stick on something. Uh, this sticks to a target loot. So you could like stick it to a holy roller or something for instance. And that loot cannot unzap. So that's really good. Just keeps it zapped. Shrieking fans. It's another common. It's a monster. Costs four for a one power or three life. It's pretty expensive but uh, for this fight it gets plus one power for each face down card in your stash. The uh, Bard has a lot of stash abilities like that, so that's cool. Oh, this is our first V card. This is the rarest card we've actually opened. Uh, this is the Staff of Magic. This is a wizard staff, uh, wizard weapon, excuse me. It's a two level. Uh, this is a one power, two armor, two defense. Zap your hero card. Reduce the gold cost of the next mischief you play this turn by two. So normally the wizard reduces the cost of a mischief by one. This allows it to reduce it by two. That's really, really, really good. Wow, that's cool. V is, I believe, very rare in this set. So that's rarer than even the full arts and stuff that we've been opening, I believe. That's awesome. So let me set that card aside here. It's a cool one. We got I Want It All. It's a barred card. It's an uncommon. Uh, two cost. Draw two cards. And has Encore, so it goes back into your stash. That's really good. The Land War Elf, I don't know what that could be in reference to if you've played any other CCGs, but it's a monster. One cost, one power, one heart, uh, one life, excuse me. And it's a neutral. Look through your deck for a card named Land, reveal it, move it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So it searches up the Land card. Another uncommon, we've got Nun Slap. This is a mischief, uh, cleric mischief, costs one gold. Play when a monster is hired, ignore the ability of the hired monster for this fight. That's really cool, so that can kind of stop those pesky drop bears and things like that. You can just ignore their ability. And yoink! So this is a uh, thief mischief card. Zap target weapon in an opponent's horde. Uh, deal damage equal to that weapon's power to target monster. Nice. So you can use their weapons against their monsters. It does cost three so it's pretty pricey but that's really cool. Take that holy roller for instance. I keep picking on the holy roller but spin three, zap it, and deal damage. So we got a rare and a very rare. That's, really, that's a really good little pack there. I like that. Our first V rarity. Awesome. Let's go to the next pack here. While I'm opening this up, I do want to mention we have a link to it in the description. Uh, Bowers Game Corner actually did a live play and a review of the Munchkin CCG. It's the first uh, review we've had online, I believe, for it. Uh, expect to see more of that coming out. We have uh, review copies heading out to all the reviewers and whatnot, so people will be posting videos about it in the future. Oops, I messed up the card a little bit there. That was me, not the pack. Uh, let's see, start off with Jazz Hands, uh, cost one gold, reduce the, it's a Mischief Treachery, it's a wizard one, reduce the uh, power of all monsters by one until cooldown, so uh, wizard doesn't like taking a lot of hits, uh, that's a good one for it. Lame Goblin, one of the best zero drops I think, 
zero for two power one heart, but it does when it's hired uh, take one damage. So that means you'll hire it and do a damage to yourself. But still really good. Whack a mole. Whack a mole. <laughs> Four level loot weapon. It's for the Centaur Warrior. It's got uh, it's a three three, which is good. Three power, three defense, but it's got smack. You can zap it during your turn to deal one damage to target hero or target stashed monster. So that's really good. Budget Sasquatch, uh, three for a four power three heart uh, monster, three life monster. It's a vanilla monster, nothing in the text box, anything like that, but it's a solid monster. Whacked, uh, I love that, this poor, that poor little purple guy. This is a thief mischief treachery. It's one cost, deal, uh, target hero discards one card at random. Nice little hand disruption. Skewer, a lot of people at the tournament at Pack South were having trouble with this one. It's three cost. It it's a mischief curse, so it sticks to something. This is uh, sticks to your opponent's hero card, deals one damage to them, and every turn they're going to take damage because they're bleeding one. That's really good. Crushing eight costs one. Uh, that's a warrior mischief. Uh, play during a fight. Target weapon or monster gets plus two uh, fight for that, or plus two power for that fight. So it's really just a solid boot, uh, solid little buff there. Oh my gosh, it's another V. It's our second one. This is awesome. Tree hugger. So it's a mischief curse. This is for uh, the ranger. It costs one gold. Stick to target location. When this location is squished, this deals two damage to his controller. It's pretty specific. Uh, not all uh, with this game. One thing that comes into play is that r bigger rarities doesn't mean like just the strongest cards of the game. Sometimes they're really particular cards that do specific things or or more complicated or interesting. This one's specifically against location, so it's a pretty cool, cheap way to deal with locations uh, and can kind of. Uh, mess up your opponent's strategies. That's a really cool old one there. I've uh, got an uncommon. I haven't seen this one before. This is a level four aura of the wilderness. Loot armor, another ranger card. Uh, when a monster deals damage to you, prevent one of that damage. So it's always in effect. You don't have to zap or commit it. That's a pretty useful little card. I like it. Another uncommon. Rear deflector. Awesome. Okay. Uh, two levels. Uh, loot armor for the centaur warrior. Use when a monster deals damage to you. Zap. Prevent one damage to your hero and deal one damage to that monster. This is an interrupt. So you can stop a damage and deal a damage. That's really good. Another uncommon, Repeat Offender. This is a Thief Ally. It's a two cost, four life. It's got a lot of life, but you have to pay a little bit more for it. Uh, when you commit this to a fight, roll a die. On a one to three, the, die, uh, the roll has no effect. And on a four to six, unzap this. So essentially, you have to zap to commit it. You might be able to unzap it. Ah, the Angel of Awesomeness. So this is a... For people getting the Cleric Starter when it comes out, the Angel of Awesomeness does come in that, but this will let you get even more of them for your deck. Uh, four cost, that's two power and two life, which is pretty low for a four cost, but its ability is really good. Move up to two damage from your hero card to target monster or any other hero card. So not only is it letting you heal yourself a little bit, you might be able to knock out a, or squish a monster or even uh, just do damage directly to a hero. Open another one here. Pack three. We got one more to go after this. Oh, just trying not to wreck the cards. That one came out better. Ah, uh, classic. The gazebo. It's a two gold monster, two power, three life. If the defender has a location in play, it gains a power, so it's pretty solid. Ooh, heart of the cards. So uh, heart of the cards. I don't, what could that be referencing? Wizard monster, two gold, uh, two power, uh, two life. So pretty solid two drop. Uh, but it has an ability we haven't seen before. It's called Flaunt. Reveal this card from your hand to use this ability. Deal damage, deal two damage to all heroes, then discard this. So essentially, instead of playing this like a normal monster, you could flaunt it from your hand, and then you get a free damage effect. Vampire Cat. We saw that a little bit earlier. Uh, vanilla Mental. Another vanilla monster, but it's uh, obviously vanilla. But vanilla because there's no text here. Costs four. Has a four power and a five life. Just a solid. Solid little monster. Ooh, Wombo Rat. We pulled that one earlier, uh, I believe, unboxing one or two there. If the defender is bleeding, this gains two powers. It's a one for a one one, uh, but say you have a skewer on them, they could be taking more. Ah, kaboom. It's my favorite wizard spell. Five cost, five damage to any target. Just straightforward damage. Takes off a quarter of their life. Really good. Really good common, especially. Franz. This is Franz. He's a three cost for three power, three life. While this is in your stash, each card named Hans. You hire gains one power. Uh, you may have seen him on Instagram. We actually shared a picture of Hans and Franz for Workout Wednesday yesterday. Uh, so big fan of those two. Call your symbol. Two level loot. Uh, zap, you heal once. Very simple. Cleric likes to prevent damage and heal damage. Up my sleeve. Here's an uncommon. It's a mischief treachery for the thief. Cost one. 
Uh, look through your deck and choose a trinket card. Reveal it, move it to your hand, and shuffle your deck. So it's a neat little, uh, it, can, it can search up a, a trinket from your deck. Uh, may come into uh, use for some of those interesting uh, loot cards that the thief could have. Repeat Offender, we saw that one a little bit earlier. And, oh, what is, oh. now this is the rarest rarity we had. This is a W, this is, we destroyed most of these. Fun fact, guys, uh, when the set comes out, this is, this is a rarity called We Destroyed Most of These, W. Uh, when this comes out, they're shipping me a some of these cards, and you're going to see us destroy a lot of these on air. Uh, I don't know. I, we actually do know how we're going to do it, but it's it's not going to be, maybe, maybe not the flashiest, but you'll get to watch us put cards through a shredder, essentially. Uh, this is the Hot Poker. Uh, it's got three levels. It's a three-level loot trinket, so it could be one of those trinkets you search up with that card earlier. Use when you have exactly five cards in your hand. Zap, reveal your hand. Deal one damage to any target, plus two for every card named Ace of Spades in your hand. Ah. So. That's interesting. The Ace of Spades. So, yeah, keep that in mind. The Ace of Spades is, is going to be an interesting card, too. An X. Okay, cool. So we got a W and we got an X. So this is another uh, rarer than rare, essentially. Uh, it's the Rules Lawyer. It's a two-cost thief monster. Uh, it's a two power, one life, pay one, regenerate. Uh, so instead of going to the discard pile, if it gets squished, it can go to the stash. It has Stealthy, which is a new ability we haven't seen. This cannot be targeted while it's in play. So that means you can't target it with like the Centaur's Zap ability to do one damage to a monster. A lot of abilities that would get rid of it wouldn't get rid of it. So wow, that's... Guys, we're getting a pretty good little run here. These past three packs have been great. I'm not going to hold out, hold my breath for something you know, crazier than the next one, but boy, wouldn't that be cool. So hot poker, wow, two V's, did we get two V's? Yeah, I think we did, oh yeah, we got another one here, I'm just gonna put those on top, because I think that's cool. So we got two V's and a W, wow. Not that we haven't had good pulls already in this unboxing, but this is, a, this is gonna be hard to top, guys, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's our last pack for today. And we, ooh, we start off a big guy here, Salvage Salamander. Uh, I saw this one do quite a bit of work. I actually got hit by this one over the weekend during a Learn to Play event. It's a four gold, four power, four life. So already good, good starting stats. It's a ranger monster. And when this uh, deals damage to a hero in a fight, recycle one. That means you can draw a card. And if you do, move one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. That's just a solid one. Uh, troll. Uh, cost two, cancel target mischief card. It's a nice little counter to your opponent's uh, mischiefs. And I saw this one counter kaboom during the weekend. So that's a really strong one. I'm going to do it from the side, actually. Backup Dancer. So this is a ally, cost one, barred ally. Zap, target hard monster gets plus two uh, power for this fight, then squish this. So you can either use it as an ally just to block stuff, or you can use it to do da extra damage, which is nice. Drop Bear, I mentioned him earlier, three cost, three one. Uh, neutral, or yeah, neutral. Uh, drop this card from a height of at least one meter above the game area. If it lands on a hero card, that card takes two damage, so... Yes, that means when you play it out here, you have to drop it from way up here. And see if you land on that, I'm going to count that as the hero. That's extra two damage. We'll do that. <laughs> so it's a cool little bonus effect. Whack-a-mole. We saw that one a little bit earlier. Ah, Moose. A five cost. Has a no, te no text in the box here. Four power, six life. So it's pretty strong. Ranger monster. It works with the squirrel, which we pulled earlier in the unboxing. If you go back to episode one or two. Uh, we've got the Boots of Butt Kicking. If you play Munchkin, you know the Boots of Butt Kicking. It's a classic armor, a uh, classic piece of equipment. It's a two-level uh, two loot armor. Zap, deal one damage, target stash monster. Ah, we got an X. So we did get an alternate rarity. That's actually cool. So all these packs had at least one bonus uh, card in it. This is an X rarity. Full art, nope. Prevent up to three damage to you. Uh, for each uh, damage friend this way, deal damage to any target. So you can kind of prevent damage and deal damage. Cost three. Up my sleeve. We saw that one a little bit earlier. Ooh, Portal Combat. It's a Thief Mischief, or excuse me, a Wizard Mischief. Play when checking for cheating. Reduce the gold cost of the committed monster by one. And you can give blood, which means you can uh, take one damage to reduce the cost of this by one. So you can make it free by taking a the damage. Then you can also reduce the cost of the monster. So it makes monsters cheaper, and you can play it for cheaper. So that's nice. Got the land. Land War Elves searches this up, so that's, that's pretty cool. It's a location which gives you more gold during the Reckoning step. On a rare fort, a very strong one. So this is a X cost. X X will come into play here. It's a mischief interrupt. It's a wizard card. Use when a treachery card is moved to the discard pile. So if so let's say we use that kaboom from earlier, which cost five. 
You play that, does five damage, goes to the discard pile. You could then play Fort, and X equals the gold cost of that card, and this is a copy of that card. So I, if I play a Kaboom for five and do five damage, I could then play Fort for five, copying Kaboom, and do another five damage. So guys, that's a pretty good little pull there. We got we got an X rarity here. This is X is for anything that's not a very rare, or we destroyed most of this, or anything higher than that. Uh, it encapsulates our full arts. It encapsulates just higher rarities it could there's different pulls for those but x is kind of just a higher than rare so we've got the staff of magic the tree hugger the hot poker and the nope are our higher than rares plus we've got some rares in all those packs as well so guys to enter the contest i mentioned this a little bit earlier uh, all you need to do is like the munchkin collectible card games facebook page make sure you like the page and comment below on this video uh, what your favorite card that we pulled is here uh, I'll be picking one uh, randomly. The contest closes next Monday, but I'll be picking one next week, and you'll be winning one of these packs here. We'll be shipping that out to you. Uh, definitely check for pre-orders at your local game store. The game is getting closer and closer. It's coming out in February. You can also pre-order at Warehouse 23. We have the link to the pre-orders in the description below. You can check that out. Next week, take uh, stay tuned. We'll have another uh, four packs here to open. And I'll also be looking at posting the championship match from our Pack South tournament, the very first Munchkin Collectible Card Game tournament with our starter decks. We'll have some commentary on that as well, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but that's it for now, guys. We'll see you next time on SJ Games Live.